Welcome. Welcome back. We're out on the weather deck. You know, hot days and ice cream go naturally together. But did you know there's a science to making great ice cream? Chemical Kim is here to explain how it works. Everything's a science experiment. Oh, that's life. right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it goes to this point where this is like a little piece of magic here, Catherine. Yeah. And this principle, what, what, I, what I'm doing here, what, what do you, what do you think is happening with this piece of wood? In the speaker. Well, I, I know because you told me they're frozen together. <laughs> That's right, they're frozen together. And this principle, what happened here, the science principle, is what we're going to do to make ice cream. Okay. This right here is just ice, you know, our big bucket of ice right here. Yep. That's what we need, and salt. Okay. okay. And it's the behavior between the salt and the ice that makes the cream go from liquid to a solid. Okay. Making ice cream. So we're going to do a little, like, kitchen chemistry here, which is fun. I like it. Here's okay. your, your, and it's, it's, the nice thing is it's all in Ziploc bags, so it makes it really easy. Neat and tidy. Yep. About half a cup of cream, and this is really, really cool because I did this this morning. I made ice cream with soy. So you oh, can make soy milk, you know, oh, for the nice. lactose intolerant, for the vegans out there. Yes. And then we have um, half a cup of, of sugar. Yep. I'm sorry, quarter cup sugar. So okay. half a cup cream, quarter cup sugar. Yep. And a couple of squirts of vanilla, right? Got to give it that good and flavor. And that's really the basic ingredients of ice cream right yep. there. And so that's going to go inside a small Ziploc bag. Yes. Inside a larger Ziploc bag, and that's why I have the gloves on is the ice. Yeah. And I have the gloves on not only, I mean, you know you can touch ice with your hands, right? Yeah. It gets painful after right. a while, though. It yeah. actually, exactly, and it actually is even more painful to touch this bag, not just with ice, but to touch it with salt and ice. Even more it's painful. Worse? Yes. Oh, it is. I Why know. is that? That is because it's drawing heat. This, when it melts, it's drawing heat from the surroundings, and so that that cold, the surroundings get cold. So it's drawing heat from your hands. Got so it's gonna it. feel Ooh, really cold. Not good. Yeah. I gotta so put this in. Yep. And okay. this is a, a really fun activity. Oh, and then put salt also on the ice. But we'll put. And you're using table salt, eh? You don't need rock salt. You don't need rock salt. Well, oh, you know, sodium chloride, sodium iodide. It's all going to dissolve. You don't want to yeah. use sugar, though. Okay. No, that won't do the trick. I made that mistake. But we're just going <laughs> to dump at least half a cup, if not a cup, of salt. Okay. And I would even suggest, as you notice the salt dissolving into the water, yes. I would even suggest keep adding more and more salt as you go. Because that's the critical ingredient to make this exactly. happen. We got, we got a little over-eager on our salt. I have uh, my ice. ice. Right. And the, the fun thing is kids can do this. Make sure they wear gloves when they do this because, like I said, it gets even colder. Yeah. Okay? Because as the ice is melting with the salt, yes. it's drawing heat from the cream. Uh huh. And by drawing heat from the cream, it's turning the cream from a liquid to a solid. Right? Yeah. So on those, you know, summer days that your kids are kind of wanting some ice cream and you're just too tired to go to the store and like, <laughs> go into the kitchen and do some Make endothermic ice cream making. Right? I like it. Endothermic. Endothermic. Okay, so what you would do then is you would mix it, of course, wearing your gloves. Fun to have and kids, kids can throw it back and yeah. forth, right? Tie it to your dog Fido and have him run around the room, you know, mix the ice cream right up. And then when it's all said and done, the about 10 to, moment. 10 to 15 minutes, right? The ta-da moment, that's right. <laughs> and I would also suggest, unless you want a little bit of salt flavor as your yeah. ice cream, is to rinse the baggie off. Yes. You know, when you put it, when you open it up. But if you look here, Catherine, I won't get Scooping a cup. some up, eh? I'm going to scoop some up. Ready? Here, we'll scoop it right in there. You can turn okay, it and guys. see it did a phase change, right? Look at this. Solid from ice a liquid cream. to a solid. Isn't that good science? It's very cool science. Yeah, good science. Endothermic ice cream Endothermic making. Endothermic ice cream. Teach yep. your kids a lesson before they get That's that right. scoop of ice cream. That's right. And they can freeze, you know, freeze wood in the process as well. <laughs> All right. You can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website, WZZM13.com. Click on Take Sign Links. Kim, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Kathy. Making us a sweet treat for the weather deck this morning.